Yeah, it's uh, yeah, you don't want to starve. Let me put this down. This is lighting's been kind of driving me nuts around here recently. You guys gotta tell me when something's wrong. Just go ahead and say, "Hey, man, I should get that figured out, dude." So. There we go. Yeah, I pulled them out and left them for you. Yeah. Ooh, yummy, John. That's a good dinner, yeah. That's a good dinner, yeah. Yep, Kaylin's uh, parents made dinner for us. It was a good time. Yeah, you gotta have uh, something good on Easter. For sure. How's it going, King Frosty? I see your name. My, my bad, my bad. I see you in there. Oh, I bet, yeah. Yeah, I enjoy a nice Easter dinner. It's always nice if it's a big meal, yeah, with, with people, yeah. I always thought holidays were so important. They were such, they, it was just like a big deal to me and, and my family, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, holidays have always been a big deal. It's like I work pretty hard pretty much every day of my life, but yeah, on holidays. That's a chill day. How's it going, Aaron? Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Tonight we're building a couple of Easter sets to celebrate the day. On every holiday I build these brickheads, especially for the first year here. We're going to be building these because I am collecting the holiday brickheads. Uh, what's the other one? A chick. I think it's an Easter chick. There's a brickhead, but it is not available right now. Maybe next year we'll get that. I'm not sure. Here we got the sheep. It's going to be kind of a fun build. He's got all kinds of little studs around him, circle tiles. and I put all these holiday brickheads. When I was a kid, my grandma used to, she had a little, something called precious moments. They're these little statuettes, real small. And she had one for every, every one of her grandkids. So there ended up being a bunch of us, 13 of us, and she would have them in a rotation. They would be in a circle and whoever's birthday was coming up or whoever's birthday it was would be in the front. And then as the year went on, they would circle around and come to the front. So I've decided to actually take that idea and do that with my brickheads. So I just am going to rotate my brickheads and have them on display. Oh, did you? Yeah, the brickheads or the Easter Bunny? I'm very excited for the Easter Bunny. Very, very excited. That's going to look great in the house. Yeah, I thought, yeah. I always thought that was really cool that she did that, so. I'm sure maybe something like that. Yeah, I'll do something like that when I'm a grandfather. A grandpa. That's a long ways off, hopefully. Oh, this one here? Wow, dude, I'm so excited for that build, Aaron. Ooh. Yep, that. How big is it, you know? About how big is it? It seems like it's pretty big. I mean, it's got 300 pieces. It's a lot of pieces. What's up, Nerdbrick? Yeah, behave, chat. Behave. Mama had to whoop you. Got some arms on him. Or her. Some little feet. Just got done watching. Just Oh, you were on Twitch? What are you doing on Twitch? You streaming on Twitch? Happy Easter, everyone. Yeah. Who's in here? I haven't said it to. 
Oh, okay, so remember our Easter Bunny got one of these paintbrushes. First off, they gave us an extra paintbrush, so we have two. The one we got with the Easter Bunny had blue paint on it. This one has orange. That's pretty cool. We have an extra one of those, so we can maybe custom an artist or something. A minifig. You stream Minecraft, do you, Nerdbrick? Hmm, interesting. First off, I'd like to check that out. So go ahead and send me a link on maybe Insta. Okay, Aaron, yeah, I figured it's probably yeah, a pretty decent size. It's a good size box and generally sets about that big. Yeah, it's, I would imagine it'd be Good size bunny. I'll just go ahead and put it with the Easter decorations. Well, yeah, you could do that. I don't care. Oh, wow. That's crazy, Nerd Brick. I love Minecraft. Have you ever killed the Ender Dragon? Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's your uh, username on Instagram as well. It's pretty easy to remember. Why can't you? Because you need the... You need the webcam? I can get a different one. It's an easy fix. You stream, I stream, we all stream. Something about ice cream. Ooh, yeah, dude. You do need another person. You don't need one, but yeah, you're going to want another guy in there. You're going to want all the health, health pots you can come up with. Yeah, you're going to want all the pots, all the enchants, everything going into that. LOL. We'll get it figured out, I promise. You can do anything. You can do anything. Oh, yeah, you haven't even been there? Yeah, you need, yeah. You gotta go. You gotta be ready for that fight. You gotta get all the arrows, dude. You need all the arrows. Lots of them. It cracks me up that they use pink like a brain, man. It really does. King Frosty's Legos. Uh oh. Uh-oh, came on an alt. Oh, wow, no way. He's got the alt. Ooh, you're going underground. See, yeah, no. I don't play games like that, Nerdbrick. I usually generally just, like, I don't do a whole lot of looking up things. You know how I do a set, I don't look into it? I just go into it, and I just, I just freehand it, man. I just go in there and figure it out. I did it probably 10 years ago, Nerd Brick, honestly. I was in college, so what is it, 2021? Almost 10 years ago. I think eight years ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely loved Lego, Aaron. Lego's. I'm not sure if it'll ever die. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I feel like, yeah, I've had a. Obviously, a recent interest in Lego, but yeah, this is a different love than when I was a kid. True. By the way, by the way, what King Frosty? King Frosty's Lego. Mm, yeah. See, I, I never do that nerd brick. I just like this. I like the struggle. You know what I mean? I just like the struggle. Saw you on the Amosaurus stream the other day. I was like, hey, I know that guy. That's Nerdbrick, man. I think Ross said your name, dude. I was like, oh, I know that guy. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, I'll be honest, Minecraft is incredible. The stuff you can do on Minecraft is just, I mean, it's... Uh, I wish the girlfriend and I weren't so into World of Warcraft, so invested into World of Warcraft. Yeah, I might, might do a full switch to Minecraft if I wasn't. Who's Claire? Okay. King King Frosty's Legos. Spider Man Hydro Man. I'm trying to think of what set that is, King Frosty. Like I'm sure that I've seen it. I'm just trying to picture it in my head. Anything Spider Man is cool though. Spider Man is really the goat, honestly. Uh, the girlfriend and I, Caitlin and I, last night we just finished Endgame. So we have successfully watched all of the current Marvel movies except Captain Marvel in chronological order. Because I don't really know how I feel about Captain Marvel. So Play on Bedrock. Yeah, that's a, a type of Minecraft now, yeah. I feel like, well, I mean, technically you can't live without Captain Marvel because if you remember at the very beginning of the movie when Iron Man was stranded with, uh, what's her name, Gamora's sister, the half-robot chick, I can't remember her name, but uh, yeah, they got they were going to die and they got saved by her, so I mean, I feel like you could definitely live without her, but... Not really, I guess. Plus, she came down and said, <laughs> into that one ship. Nebula, yep. Yeah. yeah, she flied through that one ship. She came through there and was like, oh, wait, why is she so overpowered? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, it's got Mysterio. I know what you're talking about now. Nebula. Nebula's a good character. When she was bad, that sucked because she's a really good, like, like a really funny, good character. I hope she continues with Guardians of the Galaxy along with Thor. Is the, what's the set with Peter Parker's pizza shop or something? Is that come in? The Doctor Strange set. You did a cat reveal. Would you get a new cat? Lego Mansion, is it a mock, Aaron? How many rooms does it have? <laughs> it's probably got a lot, yeah. This is kind of a, an interesting brickheads here. I like how it's just totally different with all these studs on it. Like, that is the exterior detail. I'm not sure what that orange one is. Oh, he painted himself. <laughs> it's like the Minecraft sheep, nerd brick. You just paint them, dude. Just paint them. You got to get every color. Nerdbrick, if you're still here, yeah, that's the type of stuff that I like to do on Minecraft. So, like, I like the redstone aspect of Minecraft. Your hair's going to be cutted. You shaving that thing like this or what? Yeah, like, Nerdbrick, I'm into, like, building... Uh, sorry, I'm stumbling. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, like, I had a... So, I had, like, a cow farm, like a cow harvester. So, like, I put the cows up in the top, then you give them the wheat, they turn, you know, they have the babies, then you turn the water on, it pushes the babies into a different bin, and then you wait till they grow up, or you feed them and they grow up, and then you crank the other lever, 
and it's held up by a sign. It's got lava in it, and it, they die, and then they cook. They cook. Uh, it's a uh, grilled steak or cooked steak, whatever they call it. Not with the beard. I shaved the mustache. I think I'll probably keep it off for a while. I've always had a mustache. I kind of feel weird without it, but I think it might look more professional. Yeah, I feel almost naked. Building is your favorite. Yeah, I see you and I would get along well. Six bedrooms, three bathrooms, 250 by 50 base plates. How many Legos are you going to use there? You're going hard, dude. Okay, so we're going to put this on the back, the white plate. Yep. Okay, we're going to go hard here with some, some details. God, lots of stuff, nerd break. I had an automated fishing farm. I had all kinds of stuff. I, yeah, I like inventing stuff on there. I honestly really, really want to get to the point where I can invent things with Lego. Honestly, I mean, I want to get there bad. Hopefully within, yeah, four or five years. Ah, would they have the white uniform on? That's it, 999 bricks. You're doing good so far. Gee, many Christmas. Yeah, that's huge building. You're talking about those gray ones, right? Are those 50-50? I thought those were 64-64. I don't know. 48-48. Yeah. Um... Is it based off of the burger shop that they've released, that Lego's released? I was thinking of doing something similar. What do you mean, Nerdbrick? <laughs> uh, yeah, now I got too many numbers in my head. Some auto, some auto farms won't work. What's it? What's the PE? Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking of getting that three-in-one monster truck, and then the Lego uh, Burger Bar Rescue, whatever it's called, the one with the fire one, and combining those into a building. But it seems like a lot of money for. Doing something I could do for less money, just buying the parts. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I understand. I, I understand what you're saying now. Yeah. Okay. For some reason, I'm thinking that you're talking about the military. Hmm. Are they planning on maybe fixing that, or is that just the way that it is? I see, I played on the 360 originally. Originally. Okay, that's not even true. Let me take you back. So I'm 26 years old. So when I was 14 years old, I think Minecraft came out for the first time Java edition past the beta. So this is like first release sometime, sometime within that time frame. And my friend Colby actually got minecraft on his computer and i stayed the night at his house and that was my first experience with minecraft dude and this guy had he was in the um whatever it is where you go through the portal and you got the the fire everywhere he's in that land and he's got the minecart set up and everything and i'm like dude what is this game bro and he's like bro this is minecraft i'm like dude i gotta i gotta have that and then yeah kind of play ever since 
I don't have Hawkeye. I have a couple aim agents. I haven't built any of my Avengers stuff yet, though. I'm real excited. Yeah, that's. I want to. Yeah, I want to get them all. I don't have any cap. No cap minifigs. When I maybe get the mech, it's only ten dollars. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, look, man, I'd pick that up too. I gotta hit the pick a brick wall at some point in my life. It's not far. I just don't go down that way very often. Yeah, it's just the way it is. That's okay. Oh, okay, yeah, off of a website. Is it is it like a brand or what brand is it? Oh yeah, dude. When they put the I don't even think the Ender Dragon was in the game when I started playing. Like I was a kid. Yeah, I was a little kid. Now they got fish and dolphins. And bad guys in the water. When they did that, I was like, what? Now they got bad guys that fly? You have not destroyed the inner dragon plenty of times. Get out of here with that. If you have, that's... Don't lie to me, dude. I will log in right after the stream and start grinding so that we can do it again. What? 100%. Oh, yeah. Flying? You're trying to fly? That's a game changer. That's a whole game changer. 50 by 50s, Aaron. Those are crazy. Green, huh? Man, that would cover a lot of area. Dude, so you're pretty good at the game, huh? So you're trying to play then. What's up, Lego Joe? Welcome, welcome. Happy Easter. Yeah, that does sound fun to fly. I played this off. It wasn't uh, Minecraft. But I can't remember what it's called, but it's a different one. And they, they, you could fly in that game. You had to get like a, a glider. You couldn't like just fly straight up. Like you had to do some gliders. Three cities. Do you have people living in them? You have villagers living in them? Oh yeah, now they got pillagers. That's crazy. I haven't played since the pillagers, man. Six years. Well, that's okay. Lego Joe, I don't know if I believe you. You make me upset because I can't ever believe you. If you did get that, grats, bro. If your elbow is broken, hopefully it is going to heal. Happy Easter, Explosive Animations. Welcome, welcome. Hope you had a good day. 8K blocks out. How do you get there? By train? <laughs> That is deep. Okay, so here's the sheep. He's got a little orange on his head. He got himself with the paintbrush a few times. So this is a good one. I, I enjoyed this this brickhead's here. Okay, so that's one thing I never did quite figure out, Nerd Brick, because like I said, I didn't like to look things up. So yeah, I never truly figured out Nether Portal travel. So I I tried, and sometimes it would work, and sometimes it wouldn't exactly work. So sometimes I would just always end up in the same in the same portal one way or the other. So. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, sometimes like I would set up a different portal and go through it, and I would come out in the normal portal. Yeah, garage. Um, yeah, you can maybe steal some ideas from the way that Lego has done some of those garage doors. I was maybe thinking of doing something similar. Yeah, with the fire station, I need to make the uh, garage door large.
Okay, so okay, the portals are too close in the overworld, or they're too close in the nether. So they have to be pretty far away, huh? In the nether, okay. Okay, you said one nether block equals eight overworld blocks. So you're going to end up spawning pretty far away then, yeah? You're going to, when you, when you set the second nether portal up, you're going to be pretty far away, yeah? Three portals, okay. Mm -hmm. couple of egg builds here. We have one here. We haven't really talked too much about this build this evening. It's kind of been building and chatting. This is a really cool flower pot. I didn't know that these exist existed, to be honest, so something to think about in the future. Yeah, I have one, 1K in the nether, which takes me 8,000 blocks away. That seems to make sense. Yeah, I mean, if you do have to travel travel lighter pretty close anyways, yeah, I guess you could just minecart it. Oh, wow, so they put a stud in here? Oh, wow, it just fits right in there. It just sets. It didn't clip nothing. It just kind of sits in there. That might not last long. That'll pop right out of there. Okay, yeah, so the motor stuff with Technic, yeah, I don't, I have not played too much in that. Man, it would be fun, though. That's insane. Have an automated garage door? That would be insane, but gotta say highly impressive no lag in main area why because you're separating your builds There was one guy I watched on YouTube. Man, back when it was like Let's Play, that's what we that's what everything was. Let's play everyone their YouTube channels would be Let's Play Minecraft. Let's play. Man, yeah, this guy went off. What was his name, dude? I would do anything to find those videos again. Mm -hmm. Pretty large tulip over here in the corner. Wow, yeah, that guy was crazy. I couldn't believe some of the stuff that he did. Boom! Frick it. Dude, no, I think he was friends with Mumbo Jumbo. It, active redstone does cause lag, yeah. It could have been Mumbo Jumbo or he was friends with him. I'm not sure, man. I think it might have been Mumbo Jumbo. Why would that be a bad idea? Just get you some clear, translucent, circle, one-by-one one plates. Throw them in there, dude. Some light blue ones, some dark blue ones. One of the OGs, is that what I said? Original gangsters? Or is that what you're saying? He is actually one of the original gangsters, I guess. Where is this from? Oh. Boom, we'll put it right in front. Ta-da! Maybe face the camera just a little bit. Ta-da! 
Boom, Easter Bunny time. Man, I'm so excited for this build. No, I don't think that's a bad idea at all. I don't think there's really any bad ideas when building Lego. Like, oh no! I don't like when my box is ripped, even though it doesn't matter. Okay, so yeah, it's about the same size as that Valentine's Day bear, huh? I didn't get that set. I think it was sold out, maybe. Maybe I wasn't really paying attention at the time. Oh, are you asking? You don't know too much about Mumbo Jumbo? Uh, Mumbo Jumbo was like... Mumbo Jumbo was great because... So other people would do stuff, but Mumbo Jumbo was like the biggest, right? So like other people would come up with stuff that was Redstone and then they would either tell or show Mumbo Jumbo and then he would put them on there. So he would do it and then he would basically show the world because everyone followed, everyone was subbed to Mumbo Jumbo anyway. So if the other people had a smaller base, they could get that content out through Mumbo Jumbo. You watch him daily? Still to this day, he's going hard? Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Nice little, ooh, nice little tiki bar over the pool there. Ooh. We have some vertical instructions here this evening. That's crazy. Wow, okay, let me check him out there, Brick. That's nuts. I didn't know he was still going. I mean, why quit, you know what I mean? Yeah, I can't even remember all the things that I learned from Momo Jumbo. I mean, train stations where you could flick switches while you're you're moving, you know, slow you down, and you could flick switches to take the proper direction. The sign usage was new back when, like, I was really kind of getting into Minecraft. So, and I'm sure if you're a good Minecraft player, you know how important signs are. Just the idea of being able to cut something like it was, I don't know, it was crazy the things that people came up with. I mean, it was new. Everything was new. I remember when learning that you could stack redstone and then block and redstone and, and cut it and continue in circuit, you know, through that way. Just put redstone torches on the blocks. I mean, no, no one knew that. Yeah, when using water and lava and yeah, I and mean, that stuff, no one had any idea when I first uh, was playing. No one had any idea that that stuff even happened. Yeah, Tiki Bar, that's crazy. You could even get those crazy palm tree leaves that they have. Just make, make that the roof nuts oops yeah that's kind of what I, I yeah i really like the game itself but yeah like i enjoy the building and the redstone and everything too but yeah i just enjoy the game as well like getting this the enchants like, i don't know it's just it's a really good game they did a great job oh yeah Wait, the trap doors activate and they fall into them or what? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure Mumbo Jumbo is the first the first person that I ever heard of a mob, like a mob grinder. I mean, we yeah, when I first built a, the mob grinder for the first time, my brother was probably like eight years old, bro, and he thought I was like a god. He's like, bro, what is happening? I'm like, dude, I'm mob grinding. I'm going hard. Yeah. Yeah, you need that going into that fight. Oh, they, yeah, what's that? Is the game broken or are they meant to do that? You could just catch them down there and just grind them. Just grind the mobs down there. You know they're, they're going to spawn at night anyway, so yeah, you might as well take advantage of that.
I remember going through with the shovel reel and getting rid of every piece of grass for like miles, it felt like. <coughs> What's up, RJ Lego? What are you guys all doing tonight? Whoa, this is cool. Uh, check this out. So, <laughs> I don't even think you can see this. Oh, it pops off. This is kind of funny. Huh. Yeah, let me build this real quick. So this is underneath everything. They build a carrot as like the base. They even put the stem in there. Isn't that crazy? And then they cover it up. But the room is already dark. Yeah. I guess so. I made one. One time I went really crazy. I actually, from, because of the mobs grinder, I started building all of my houses underground so yeah i don't even really build above ground very often anymore that's crazy that they put that in there and you can't even access it isn't that nuts that's just the base of the the build it's a carrot lego's funny sometimes hard work pays off aaron yes sir that it does yes enjoy that build for sure that's crazy yeah my brother's that way he doesn't like being underground either but yeah I'm always underground it gives me like this Restrictions give me like this uh, weird creativity boost because it's not like if you give me like I'm not one of those people like if you gave me a million Lego of all different kind, I'd sit there. I'd sit there. I'd probably build you something and it wouldn't be but a six out of ten. But if if you gave me like this amount of parts and told me to build something with this amount of parts, I would do better create like creative wise because of the restriction so yeah like that's what I do in Minecraft I'll build like I'll just dig I'll find a cave I'll tear it up and then I'll flatten everything and make it and I'll like sculpt the building I'll sculpt the building out of it and make it look how I want and then yeah then I just go from there You're building something World War II on Minecraft? That's insane. Or World War One, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no, Archie. Oh no, you need backup before those times. You gotta be a uh, proactive mayor. Proactive mayor, yeah, you have to anticipate. No, and like, okay, okay. I was going to say, dang, you're going hard. You'd build something beauty beautiful if you had a million Lego. I'm, I'm sure, yeah, there's, that's, yeah, a lot of people are like that. Is it, uh, you still working on the tank or did you already finish that? Well, Nerd Rick, we need to uh, get you a million Lego, I think. A million Legos. Is that two Lego or two Legos?
Ship them home. Okay. How long is uh how long are you gonna be in service? You're gonna have a crazy collection when you get back, man. Oh yeah, 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 definitely have a theater in there for sure, yeah. Yeah, you can have an inside pool. You have an inside pool that goes into the outside pool. It's crazy. Four years active, okay, yeah. Or you just start her. Oh, you got four years from now. <laughs> you are crazy, dude. 376. Holy, that's, uh, that's not there. Not very good there, bud. <laughs> you cracked me up. Four years from now, okay, yeah. That is a long time. Yeah, buddy trying to get out right now. Blew up his foot. Trying to get out for a while. Not sure. Thinking right now. Even if you just did a hot tub just to start, just some nice tile work, be probably about all you'd need to do. And maybe one of those, like, you know, those little keypads that come on the, the little safes that criminals that come with police sets and put one of those on there as like the thermostat. You know what I mean? They quit. At least they quit before they died. I'll say that. Life's looking rough over there, RJ. The people need a break it's about as much as these brick people who live in Bricksville. I see all their smiling faces, and I wonder to myself why I torture them with these scenes. Yeah, I was kind of planning on doing a hotel at some point, and yeah, that's probably about what I would do. Just some real nice tile work and diving board is a uh, pretty simple build. And those little uh, ladders will work fine. Oh yeah, definitely Brick Grandmaster. Yeah, he's got he's got some real issues going on over there. What's your city call, called, RJ? Oh, yeah. Okay, so here's our stand. Yeah, and the carrots inside of there, that's really blows my mind. Can't believe that. Whoa, look at this two by two. It's got studs on every side but one. Well, two technically, because this is the, not sure what you'd call that, the female part of the connection, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it seems, yeah, it's all the little details, yeah. One, one thing I like to do, I haven't really been, I mean, I've been in Lego for like three three months now. This is month four, April's month four. We started in January. But one thing that helps me with when I'm doing something creative with Lego is just like, just thinking about like myself in the scene, like just thinking about, what's happening you know what i mean like if you were building a, a hotel say i was building a hotel like what would i think is cool in an experience in a hotel and then i just go through those stages maybe even just write it down you know jot it down jot all your ideas down and 
and start uh, kind of problem solving from there. Scratch off the list, add to the list, whatever you got to do. Ooh, some reddish brown. Uh, and looks like we've got some hitch balls here. He's got some issues over there at RJ City, man. That's not good over there. I feel bad for him. Whoa, man, I've never seen this either. A two by four rounded tile? That's crazy. That's great for like a rug. I mean, that's crazy for so much. I built the second one. Are these ears or feet? Probably feet, huh? Probably feet. <laughs> They're all in debt. There's nothing they can do about it, Brick Grandmaster. They're in debt. No. Do you, they, does your city need a loan? I got... Look. I got two hundreds right here. Two hundreds right here, RJ. You can have them. It's a trade deal, free negotiation from Bricksville. Hopefully it's it's a charity event, man. Hopefully it'll save somebody. Whoa, that's crazy. A walk-in, yeah, a walk-in closet or a walk-in wardrobe. That's a good idea. Well, you could put um, just all kinds of clothing in there. Yeah. Well, yeah, I have not thought about that. all your extras i think that's kind of interesting too i like to do that where like all of my stuff i like to put it somewhere in the city so uh tools and things that utensils that minifigs hold i like to keep it all in the city somewhere so there's a lot of stuff in grand emporium there's a lot of stuff in assembly square i've got lots of studs here on the back I believe this is the back. It's weird because the head of this thing is like, it's, you can move it and it's like kind of detached. It's probably right here on these hitch bowls as a matter of fact. But yeah, it's a crazy set. Like I said, I was very excited for this build here, so. One by two cheese wedge. Mayor and Bob. Of course it is. Yeah, of course it is. They line their pockets off of the uh, suffering of others. So, good person. Okay, so this is going to be where his head is. Do we have a hitch here? Clipping right there. So if this is the size of it, it's actually a little bit smaller than I had anticipated. But that's actually okay. Let's see, we're gonna cover this here in plate. Aha, okay, so now we're finally getting cap. Something seems 
of Yeah, I don't like Bob. I'll be honest, RJ. A walk-in shower? All I ever want in life is a shower with two nozzles, two two shower heads, one in front of me and one behind me. And I'll honestly be happy. That's really all it would take, truthfully. I would be one happy man. I've said that for like five years now. Saying, uh, Brick Grandmaster, you don't like Bob, or that you want a shower with uh, two shower heads. Because, yeah, either one I can totally understand. His nephew's Mr. Boom. I thought Bob was Mr. Boom. Or no, Bob's in and he works with Mr. Boom. Wait, is Mr. Boom good? Or is he the bad guy? Both, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a fan of those guys over there. They're just ripping the whole city off. Why the, their mayor, RJ, he just... He don't really care, you know? He's a savage. Absolute savage. He just lets it happen. So sad. Oh, yeah, Mr. Boom's the good guy. Okay. He just got, he's the one who got basically pooped on. Set up, huh? Wow, I think the legs are going to move on this guy. This is it's a pretty good build here. I won't lie to you. Yep, I remember now. I remember. We got two more of these. Let's see. Boom. We might even have two more. Interesting. Okay, so they just go real simple with the bunny tail right there. I would have done the same. Oh, that's a cool build. Oh, wow. That's crazy. They're going. They're going in deep, y'all. I like when they turn things on the side and start building. That would be pretty good. Yeah, I thought about something similar. Yeah, you figure out how your city gets energy. have any green pieces like uh, plants I'd like to build a nursery in my city I'd really like the farm just in general uh -oh. okay. I see studs on side faces what we're going to start with there. I'm going to make two of these here. Fairly simple build. Several steps. Okay, and the second one. 
these on the sides here. Let's see, yeah, we're facing this way. I guess it doesn't really matter on that specifically. Very interesting, right? So I'm not quite sure what this is. Right, so they've rounded this off here. And then take this. Two by four. Looks like... Okay, wow. Really, really cool. Really cool. Look, you can itch his ear. <laughs> really cool. Very detailed. That's cool. This is a pretty, pretty nice set here, actually, guys. I'm really enjoying this. A big tree in the backyard, yeah, yeah. How do you make your trees? I just ordered some, some uh, bunch of, a bunch of parts for some trees, actually. Yeah, back in the garden. Okay, yeah. That's kind of what I was thinking. I was like, well, you could you could build some kind of a, a nursery or a garden or something. I got a couple of those uh, extra food packs. The amount of uses I've gotten out of that is crazy, and I'm sure I'll continue to get great use out of that. Okay, got the second one here. I'm sure we're going to put this here. And then, yes, yeah, so there's the second leg. Very great build. A lot of fun, just a lot of fun. So, so you can stand. On his hind legs there. Come down on all fours. His head will man, uh, maneuver as well. Now we're going to work on the head. So there's a body. Drink here real quick. This is a very, very cool build here as well. Looks like we're going to have three hitch balls coming off. Which is nuts that they're, I don't know what they're doing. It's here. Yes, yeah, so that's on the side of the back. Okay, so they're just basically creating a brickhead's head. Oh, yeah, I should. Yeah, that would be nice for the garden then, yeah. You could have a little guy living, living in the shed. Hobo. Maybe a hobo. One more reddish brown. Sounds like you got plenty of ideas over there. Okay, so this would obviously be the bunny's nose. So it will be like this. The head right here. Ah, they did a great job with this build.
Yeah, I have a, a lawnmower in my city. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that kind of stuff cracks me up. Just to see, like, to walk in here and, like, see it look like a real scene, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Just, like, random things are happening. Ugh. Let's see here. Just follow the instructions to be a lot easier. Yeah, that stuff cracks me up. I really enjoyed my scene this week. It was crazy. Okay. So I feel like this. Yep, okay. So get off the other side here. Let me see. These then the large one. Oh, very cool. Okay, so works its way around the uh, the hitch ball. Actually, yeah, they it does hold the lawnmower as well, like its arms work perfectly, so. It's our bunny head. Oh yeah, definitely had a front yard, for sure. The front yard, the back yard? Maybe even side yard that goes to them. You could have a uh, a nice sidewalk walkway with a little fountain in front. Yeah, it is a pretty cool little set. I like how they had you build it in a, a little bit of a weird way. Build the walls separate and then build them up you know like real life is kind of like ah first house build wall put wall up i felt like uh an original man building a lego carrot house So let's see, we got bunny's nose facing down. And what we can do, okay, so see how the ears can move? Very nicely. Lots of movable features here. Let's gonna do another one. Yeah, they just do it with a little wing. Just a little wing. Brace it here. Got lots of blue left. Oh, we're going to make some eggs. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, we have interesting colors here. Cool yellow. Yeah. My favorite Lego color. You haven't built any sets for 10 years? <sighs> yeah, that's about how I feel. I feel a lot better now that I'm building sets again. I missed something, and it's crazy to miss this part. Check this out. <laughs> That's kind of strange, huh, that I missed that?
Just those two bricks there. So my bunny looks a little strange. I can see his insides, his muscles, and that was not good for him. Not good for him. Boom! Now he is one solid piece. A full bunny and doesn't have to worry about dying on the job. Bunny walks. Bunny's head moves. His ears move. There we go. Yeah, those legs were crazy builds. Your train setups are nuts, John. Yep, yep, they can't just come in, yeah. Maybe you can have like, yeah, like some guards around. They walk the perimeter. Nobody gets in here. Yeah, so then if you do that, then you got to have a front entrance. She's with 50 studs, two 50 by 50s. It's a ton of space. Yeah, the one thing when I came back to Lego John, I was like, and honestly, I'm still shocked sometimes at the things that they do, like, the advancement that Lego has made since I was building when I was a kid is really just incredible. I mean, they have done an amazing job, and I enjoy watching them continue to improve and come out with new parts and change the way that they do things. Instructions have changed. Their rebranding thing, I mean, they're just constantly still, still at it. They really truthfully go hard. Build a couple eggs here. Let's see, it seems like I'm gonna run out of parts. But yeah, after I built my first modular, that's honestly what hooked me. I was like hook on line and sinker. I was like, man, dude, like when I was a kid, we were building like some scummy houses in comparison to Things that people do nowadays are just really crazy. People take everything to the extreme, so. Next year, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it, that could be, you could do other things in the middle of that, you know, that's just a really long project, yeah, that you work on for, like you said, maybe a year, maybe six months, maybe four months, three months, you never know. You should record a lot of the process, though, or at least take pictures. You could do somewhat of a time lapse or something. One of the craziest things about mock building for me is trial and error, and just building and tearing it down, and rebuilding and tearing it down, and repeat, rinse and repeat over and over and over again. One egg. One egg. Lots of studs on sides and these brick heads built. It's really, really crazy how much studs on sides you get. What's up, Isaiah? You too, buddy. Happy Easter. Yep. Yellow, white, red, black, blue, red windows and roof pieces, red yeah, so my, yeah, my dad gave me all kinds of stuff. That's a lot of the Lego that I even had when I was a kid. Was from my dad. Stuff from probably 60s, 70s. Maybe some stuff from the 80s.
Early 70s, yeah. Yeah, my dad was born in 64. <sighs> Football stadium, that's just, that's another huge project. Yeah, that's insane. Wow, okay, so yeah, you're my dad's age. Yep. You guys probably had some of the same sets. What was it back then like Lego set 131? Lego set 17. Maybe, yeah. Now they got five digit numbers. What if we live through a day when they come out with six digit numbers? Okay, so we're gonna do some cool yellow, a little bit of pink. Yeah, they they're really they're really cruising. I'm very interested to see what they do this year. Hopefully, we get some good stuff. I mean. Some really, really, actually really nice builds. Ninjago City Gardens was really incredible. I would love to get my hands on the Ninjago City Gardens set. The two Harry Potter sets that have been released in the past couple of years are nuts. I would like to see something very cool this year. Ninjago City Gardens was really a big set, so... Lego set 710. Everybody look that up. Everybody look that up. Lego 710. Universal building set. 710. No one even has one for sale, John. Dude, if that was new, could you imagine? It's got a it's a nice house. Is that a three in one? That's like a really nice house. Oh, back then, yeah, it's not really three in one. It's just like here's some pieces, build what you can. It's got like a garden. Am I not looking at the right one? I see the tow truck with car. Tow truck with car instructions. Dude, what? Yeah, I mean, I think like from them to come from that to just this alone, only 300. It's 293 pieces. Like what? Like a 900. Like, yeah. What, dude? They're insane. They've come so far. I just want to pick up classics, classic 900 brick pieces. Steam shovel with trailer 900 was universal motor set. Okay. Man, does it work? Or is it like not an, like electric, electrical? It's like just a motor set. To build a, a car motor. What? From the early 70s. That's awesome. That's, that's really incredible. So this color green right here is very nice. It's like, that's the cool yellow. And then that green is like, maybe cool green. 
it's, I think it's like springtime yellowish green, light yellowish green or something. But that's a crazy springtime color right there. It's really pretty. I'll probably switch like this so that we're not full on copy in there. One speed only. That's fine. Yeah, a conservatory. Yeah, right outside the garden. Yeah, it's like got butterfly, a butterfly garden right there. Yeah, that's a great idea. Easter Bunny, new household decoration. Wow, yeah, that's crazy, John. That's just that's so like the value of that probably to you is just crazy to be able to have to have something from back then. That's nuts. Yeah, these are great sets, yeah. This is our Brickheads, our third one, our third holiday Brickheads. We have the Mandalorian and the Child, obviously, Baby Yoda, which might be my favorite Brickheads, but eh, it's kind of hard to pick against Baby Yoda. Oh, Grogu, you know what I mean? He's pretty much an OG. All right, guys, well... Cannot find it. I hope it shows up. I hope it shows up. Those could be like whatever setup you do, it could be like, you know, just this crazy display of like history. Damn near being a museum. Yeah, put them in like a, a big museum. That's one thing I want to do, Aaron, is a real big museum, you know. They'd be two 48 by 48 base plates, yeah. 100%. Yeah, those are, that's going to catch people like me's eye. Yeah, people who, who know Lego sets, <laughs> you know, and they're like, wait, what is that? That definitely catches your eye. I'd make it my profile pic. Mike, you see this? Oh, I wouldn't lift it, Aaron. No way. Yeah, I'd build it to the point you don't have to lift. There's no way you can build. You can lift that. With two people, maybe, but you better watch right in the center. You better make it real strong in between those, those two base plates right there. Real strong. You can't go underneath it, so you can only go on top. Yeah. Yeah, those big sets like that I would not pick up. Those UCS Star Wars sets, not a chance. Not doing it. It can stay right there forever, dude. No way. I won't even get them to them somewhere where I know I won't ever have to move them. No way. It's actually really not nearly as big as I thought. I figured it'd probably be about about this big. I figured it'd be like something you'd have to you know what I mean, carry around. That's okay. I got a lot of these eye pieces, all kinds of stuff. Got new flowers. That's cool. New stuff for pathways and stuff. Okay, guys, I am uh, about to jump off of here. I appreciate y'all stopping by. I hope you had a great Easter. Don't waste too much time here with the Burke Mind. Yes, you definitely need to do that. Yes, you need to have some that run up, and then on the on the ones that go up, you need to have top supports that go across the building as well and it should probably be like 10 bricks high eight to ten bricks high each floor for sure arch pieces a lot of strength in arch pieces too around doorways if you use stuff like that all right guys yeah i'm gonna head off of here had a long day 
need to eat something as well. Kind of clean up, get uh, maybe a video ready for tomorrow, and uh, get my stuff ready for to go back to work this week. It's going to be a long one. Yeah, thank you, John. Happy Easter, everybody. Hope you had a great day. It was a beautiful day around here. I had a good one. Got the celebration on. You know what I mean? Even drank a beer. Boom, flower. All right, guys. Yep, I will catch you guys later. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the builds. Aaron, good luck with your build. Do not pick it up when it is done. I'm sure I'll talk to you again before it's done. <laughs> Peace.